Today we're gonna to make sausage and lentil soup. Here's all those ingredients. Let's get into it right now. So I always like to go over the ingredients for you. So I have a little, it looks like I've been crying because of that onion. Anyway, with that onion, I cut, it was one large, it's probably equal right here to all of this, which is about two cups of onion. I had three celery ribs, and then the recipe says two medium carrots. I used three because they were a little bit on the small side. To make a long story short, that's how much I have of onion, carrot, and celery. I also have one medium zucchini that I diced. Since this is a sausage lentil soup, we're putting sausage in it. This is one pound of bulk Italian sausage. If you can't find that in the store, just buy sausage links and take the sausage meat out of it. We also are gonna have garlic in here. I did six cloves of garlic and I minced that up. Two Parmigiano Reggiano rinds. If you have a really large one, just use one. If you don't have one of these, it's fine to skip it. You're gonna put more cheese on this at the end when you serve it, but these are great. It's kind of a secret weapon. You buy an expensive block of Parmesan, you don't want to throw out that rind, save it, wrap them up tight in plastic, and then you use them for soups like this, or you could put them in, even in a sauce. Liquids, we have one cup of dry white wine. If you can't have wine, just omit it. I have six cups right here of homemade chicken stock. So this chicken stock is kind of on the thick side, so the recipe says if you do have a homemade one, then put about two cups of water in there to, to even it out. If you're buying box stuff in the store, you could just use eight cups straight. We also have plum tomatoes. So I didn't crush them on camera. I'll do it right now when we make it. This is half of a can, so 14 ounces in here. If you want a little bit more tomato, feel free to use more, or if you want less, just take it out. And then I have half a bag of lentils. A bag of lentils is one pound, so this is half a pound there. Let's sear the sausage and then make our soup. So I have an eight quart Dutch oven here. You could probably get away with a six quart Dutch oven. One ingredient I didn't show you was olive oil. We're gonna use about four or five, maybe six tablespoons of olive oil. So heat this up to medium and put down your oil. Use an extra virgin, but you could use regular olive oil too. Just a little bit right now because this sausage definitely has a lot of fat in it. You can see a lot of the fat in it. And I'm just gonna kind of spread it out. Just let it get a little brown. We're not trying to really brown this. A couple minutes and then we'll start breaking it up. As the sausage goes, I forgot to say also, we're gonna have a lot of parsley and basil. This isn't the best looking basil. My garden basil all died. My favorite tool really is. It's a meat masher. That's kind of the bottom we're looking at there. So it's fine. You don't even need to put any color on this. The amount of wrong information about this subject is breathtaking. Some of the best dishes are made with no color at all on the ground, beef, pork, chicken, whatever it is. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna remove it. Try to use a slotted spoon if you can, because then you can leave fat in the bottom of your pan, you know, your fat, your olive oil, and then just set that off to the side. And then you can put your vegetables in. And I am putting them all in together. And if you don't have enough fat in here, which I don't, you're gonna put more olive oil. So the recipe says four tablespoons, I believe, but I already added two in the beginning. I'm probably gonna add another four now. And I'll put a little bit of salt on here to accelerate that water release. Because vegetables do have a lot of water in them. Wanna get all of them nice and soft. It's funny, the soup I'm making here is similar to the Carrabba's soup. Right, Tara, you said that like, when I came up with the ingredients here and it's, very similar to what Carabas had, a popular dish of Carabas. We were discussing this on the most recent podcast episode. I don't wanna generalize for everybody here in Long Island and in New York, in the metro area. I don't know why you would go to those places when you have hundreds of options around you locally. I'm not hating on those places. The few times I've been there, like Tara said Carabas, I remember, I think I got eggplant parm there and it was good. By the way, guys, if you like this, bantering and talking, we're considering lives. And if we were to do lives, there would have to be a lot of time that would have to be filled with this. All right, so that's been like another five or six minutes on the zucchini. That's how everything looks now. That looks great. If you feel like you're burning, lower the heat down or splash a little bit of water in the pan. That's all you have to do. We're gonna put our garlic in. That is about six, seven cloves of minced garlic and that's gonna make it better. We'll cook this in here for a couple minutes until the garlic gets nice and fragrant. Okay, so that's a couple minutes on there. It builds the flavor a little bit better than throwing everything in the pot at once and cooking it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put in our one cup of wine. You're using wine, alcohol, just keep your head back. That is Sauvignon Blanc. It's a $12 or $14 bottle of wine. You can also use Pinot Grigio. If you do use a Chardonnay, make sure it's not oaked Chardonnay. That means it was 
finished in the oak casks. That tends to really overpower it and then it'll just taste like oak. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're bringing this to a boil. I turned my heat up all the way. I'm just gonna let this reduce by about half, just to burn off some of that alcohol smell. You do not have to reduce this alcohol to nothing. It's another one, a lot of questions always say, they're like, you didn't reduce all the alcohol. I'm not trying to reduce this to nothing. So that reduced by about half. Now we're just gonna add everything else into the pot. Tomatoes, that's 14 ounces. I just hand crushed them. I just wanna have a little bit of texture in here. So you have like a big piece of tomato. Here's that stock. And you know, as I said in the beginning, it's a, it's a thick stock. And I like to make my own stock because there's no salt in it. The problem with any stock you buy in the store or better than bullion or anything is it has salt in it, even the low sodium versions. But this has no salt, so we're gonna have to add salt in. When you've had that wine in, flat edge of your spoon to scrape the bottom of the pot to get any brown bits away. Just make sure it feels very smooth when you're doing it. But if you didn't do it at that point, you have another chance now because we're gonna bring this up to a boil. Okay, I'm putting the sausage in, putting lentils in. This is eight ounces of lentils, which is exactly half of a one pound bag. And then here are two Parmigiano Reggiano rinds. Let's just turn this up and let's bring it to a boil. As I said before, just make sure nothing is on the bottom of your pot. Flat edge spoon, you could just remove it all. And then at this point, once it is boiling, just bring it down to about maybe a three out of 10. You wanna cook this just a very low simmer. And lentils, I'm using brown lentils here. They'll take about 40 to 50 minutes, maybe about 35 minutes, start tasting it. So the recipe has six cups of stock and two cups of water. I think we're gonna need it, but for now I just, I kept it off and I could always just add it in towards the end. So just letting you know about that. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes and the lentils probably could go a few more minutes, but they're gonna continue to get more tender even when you turn the heat off because the residual heat. I'm gonna put in about a cup of water. So that takes us to about seven cups of liquid, but this is all gonna be personal preference. I often get questions about the Parmesan rinds. So you actually can eat these, they're edible. Uh, you can also just pull them out. Great flavor in here. I just tasted it. Now, the stock I used had no salt, so I need a good amount of salt here. And I'm putting about one and a half teaspoons right now. Just to start, I'll mix it up. If you're using the box stuff or the better than bouillon, low sodium, you might not need to use much at all because the sausage has salt in it too. All right, so we'll mix this through. Let's taste it again. I wanna get this like just right before we serve it to the taste tester. That's good. The parmesan, those two rinds really imparted a lot of flavor. So let's take this off and put all those herbs in. Here's the basil that I chopped up. Recipe says quarter cup, but use more or little as you like. And then that's about a half a cup of parsley. So there's a lot of green going in here and that's just gonna make it nice. Now, you could also put spinach in this. Now, we would already put spinach in a straight basic Italian lentil soup. This one is a little bit more hearty with the sausage and the zucchini. Once you put that in, it improves the color, the look of it, but it also gives it a lot of great flavor. And again, this is all a matter of personal preference here. If you want it looser than that, which I think I do, I'm gonna put in the rest of the water. If you add water to something, a good amount, you need to taste and reseason because you're adding water that has no salt and pepper or anything in it. Put the salt in there, the salt level's good, and then put some nice black pepper in it. I didn't use hot pepper in this. I didn't use hot sausage. You don't have to put hot pepper or hot sausage in every dish, right? But black pepper's great in it. Let's serve this up and uh, get the taste tester down. I have the taste tester, not the official taste tester. You, you might become the official taste tester. Well, it's hard because James is doing after school sports now. Let me know what you think. Okay. I already tried it. Don't want to give you give away what I think of it. Mmm, it's really good. It reminds me of a combination of your zucchini soup and the lentil soup, but with sausage added in. Yeah. So it's like a combination of a few different soups and flavors. For me, the basil makes this almost taste like a summer soup. Yeah. Same with the zucchini, but yeah. the sausage makes it heartier. Did you drizzle olive oil on top of this? I didn't, and you should do that uh, extra virgin on top. There is a lot of fat in this already between the sausage and all the olive oil I used. Yeah. But 
I, I agree a little bit more. Yeah, extra virgin, like good extra virgin. Yeah. Drizzled on top, maybe a little bit more cheese. I think you did grate some, but I think it kind of melted a little bit because I yeah. didn't get down here fast enough. <laughs> so that's that's on me. Now this is with the homemade stock. I definitely think it tastes better. Yeah, I think it tastes really good. I'm trying to think of anything else that like I might richer, do. Maybe? That's a good word for yeah. it. Yeah. Deeper maybe Deeper. The, the flavor yeah. is. Honestly, I can't really think of anything more that I would want to add to it. I mean, could you go a little heavier on the lentils? Or? Yes, I actually think, I was gonna point that out. I did a half a bag of lentils, mm -hmm. which is a half a pound. If you want more lentils in this, probably go towards maybe 12 ounces. I don't know if I would do the full bag. If you do the full bag, you're gonna need to increase your liquid substantially and you'll have like 12 bowls worth of lentils yeah. uh, of the soup. It's not like as lentil forward as yeah, like I agree. the lentil soup. Personally, I would maybe even go with the full bag of lentils. Full bag, yeah. That's that's for me, um, and I would keep everything else the same. I don't know, then it would be a little bit thicker. Well, we'll play around with the final amounts. I mean, don't let that deter you though. I'm going to give it a nine because I would like a little bit more lentils and I would definitely do the olive oil. I'll take it. On top, so that's why I'm giving it a nine. I'll I can't really it. think of anything else other than maybe adding like spinach or kale. 